Kenyans, the Machakos by election is just but an eye opener. For those who have been following politics keenly, we knew that it was expected. So in the Machakos by election, I was particularly interested to see the voting pattern in Kagundo, Kangundo constituency. We know that Johnston Mudama comes from Kangundo constituency, his home constituency. So I was very, very keen to see exactly how Ngengele was going to perform in that constituency. Ladies and gentlemen, the votes are still being counted, but from what we have seen from the provisional results so far, it's a landslide win in Kangundo. And it's not only a landslide win in Kangundo, but it, it's a landslide win across all the constituencies in Machakos County, ladies and gentlemen. And just to go back to some few months before today, the kind of noise these people calling themselves Uda were making, you could just feel that already they had taken the seat, ladies and gentlemen. And I've been consistent in this channel, and for those who have been following me, can attest to that. I've been very categorical that in Kenya, our politics is ethnic-based. A kingpin shows the people on how to vote, and the people will vote to the last man, to what the kingpin has said. And I've always maintained, and let me repeat again, ladies and gentlemen, were elections to be done in Mount Kenya, or rather in Central Province, the gamer community will vote to the last man, to the person Uhuru Kenyatta will direct them to. No doubt about that. They will vote to the last man, to the person Uhuru Kenyatta will tell them to vote for. These noises you are hearing that, oh, Ruto, those are just sh shenanigans. Mm? Those are just noise. Mm? What we call the loud minority. The loud minority. There is always the silent majority. And the silent majority always don't talk much. Mm? They only talk through the ballot the same way the people of Machakos today have demonstrated. And I can tell you, folks, that Agnes Kavindu of Waipa is, going to, is winning with an absolute majority. In fact, Agnes Kavindu is going to win by over almost 80% of the votes that is going to be cast in Machakos County, ladies and gentlemen. And that's what I've been saying in this channel time over and time over. Now, ladies and gentlemen, this man calling himself William Ruto, let me repeat it once more. William Ruto is not as popular as the media has made us believe. Let me tell you something interesting, folks. Let's go to Rift Valley. William Ruto is going to lose in the Rift Valley. He is going to lose. I say he is going to lose because of this, the Kalenjin vote, William Ruto is going to divide with Gideon Moy. Then outside of the Kalenjin Rift Valley, the Masais and the Turukanas are not in good books with William Ruto. So all these non-Kalenjin subtribes in Rift Valley are not going to vote with Ruto. Then the Kalenjin dominated Rift Valley are going to split the votes between Ruto and Gideon Moy. And this is why I maintain in this channel that William Ruto is just but a hot balloon. Mm. His popularity is not, has not been quantified. You can't prove where, which place William Ruto is popular. The trends have not changed much, folks. The same way we voted in 2017, were we to go to the election again today, the trend is more or less the same. Mm. Coast will vote for Raila. Whether Joe lives or DM or not, King lives or DM or not, Coast as a whole, Raila will get the lion's share of votes there. If you go to Western folks, 
Raila will get a substantial number of votes there. In fact, Raila might, in fact, let me put it this way. In Western Kenya, Raila is going to beat Musalia Mudavadi in Western Kenya. I'm talking out of experience. Hmm? Because from my hypothesis or other from my calculation, politics, do, if there is to be a shift, is always not radical. It's, it goes slow by slow. So were Raila to lose votes in Western, then it would not be very drastic, but it's slow by slow. So assuming we go to the voting today, we go for voting today in Western, I can tell you for, without any fear of contradiction that Raila will beat Musalia Mudavadi. That's how politics is, folks. You know, a, a small minority can make a lot of noise to a point we all believe that what the small, loud minority are saying is the true po position of things, which is not the case. <laughs> yes. So the Tangatanga family, or rather these people calling themselves Uda, they suffered a, a, a humiliating defeat, a Burukenge beating today in Machakos Fox. Mm. Their candidate, Gengele, I know is regretting now. Why even thought of contesting on an Uda party ticket? And Mudama, as I speak right now, I know Mudama maybe is under great stress. Mm -hmm. Mudama has just shot himself on the foot. Mm -hmm. So that's how politics is in Kenya, ladies and gentlemen. And then on the Magufuli issue, folks. Magufuli, let me once again send my congratulations my condolence to the family of Magufuli and to the good people of Tanzania. There, we, as Africans, we have lost a true statesman, a man who can only be compared to the founding father of Tanzania, Julius Kambarage Nyerere. No other president in Tanzania can match this man Magufuli. This is an exemplary leader a true symbol of an African statesman. Then on the bus saga, Kianjai Girls Secondary School bus saga, as usual we know that the Tangatanga Brigade, they are full of deceit. We know that pretty well. And now the bus drama has really exposed their true nature. These are just but con men. Con men calling themselves politicians. You know, they are, they are <laughs> nifisi wa mejivalia ngozi ya control. They are con men, ladies and gentlemen. Otherwise, folks, if you are new here, tap on the subscription button, but don't forget to hit on the notification bell in order to receive a notification anytime we upload a new video. In this channel, we basically discuss and talk about politics. We analyze politics on a daily basis. We also talk about the trending news and videos that is going viral on a daily basis. So if you are a fan of politics, or if you just want to be abreast of what is happening in our country, this is the right place to be. Like today, all Tanga Tanga bloggers have been quiet. They are not making the kind of noises they've been making. In fact, the Denisitumbis, Kimani Chungwas, the Kangatas, they are quiet. Mm? They have started feeling the, pay, the heat, the real politics. You know, they have been campaigning for almost three years. They were warned, they were warned, but now they were alone on the race. And they felt they were winning. While for us who know how politics is being organized in this country, we knew it was still too early for them to start celebrating. It was still too early for them. Eh? But now, real politics is now starting. And you can now clearly see the direction politics is taking in this country. Campus will go the Kalonzo way. Coast, the Masais, the Kisis. The, those ones will just go the Raila way. Mm? Lawyers will go the Raila way. I'm telling you for a fact, lawyers will go the Raila way. 
Maybe the Maragolis will go with Mudavadi. But a large chunk of these other sub lawyer sub-tribes will go the Raila way. Otherwise, folks, if you are new here, tap on the subscription button. Make sure you give this video a like. Thanks for now. God bless you. God bless Kenya.